Well, welcome Leos and thank you for being here today. This is your yearly love message for 2021, week commencing Friday the 1st of January through to Friday the 31st of December 2021. Leos, I've already pulled your crowning message and your crowning wisdom messages. So let's have a look and see what they're telling us. Your first crowning message is balance. And the caption for this card says, I seek and maintain healthy balance in my life. Then we have the path. I am open and responsive to the opening of the way. And then we have hunger, which says, I recognise all that I hunger for. OK, Leos, I feel as though for 2021, you are being guided to keep yourself grounded, keep yourself, uh, yourself balanced. If you are experiencing um, a bit of a crossroads in your life, whether it's your soul journey, your life journey, relationships, I feel as though by keeping yourself grounded, um, and that could be through meditation, um, taking time out to do things that you love, um, creative stuff or you know taking nature walks um going swimming in the sea if you're fortunate to be by the sea uh, just connecting with mother earth connecting with your higher self so that you don't have this kind of cloudy um foggy um, mindset. It's about connecting mind, body and soul and to do that it's I feel as though you're being guided to just stay grounded. And as you work through whatever you're going through, um, which is evidently some sort of crossroads, I feel, um, allow yourself, your strength to rise up from the ground upward. Try not to operate from that place of a lack of clarity or cloudiness or fogginess. With the um, path um, card, I feel as though, Leos, if if you have gone through 2020 feeling a little bit perhaps ungrounded, uh, a little bit in the dark, I feel as though 2021 is going to show you the path. Um, something is going to be really illuminated um, for you. And I feel as though you're being guided uh, to take that path, um, whatever that is. It could be to do with your um, soul journey, your life journey, uh, your relationships. But whatever perhaps was clouding you um, in 2020, I feel as though you're being guided to just know that 2021, you will have a massive illumination. And I feel that you're being guided as you keep yourself grounded to be open to that, that path that, that will open up for you. And it may be something that you don't expect, to be honest. Um, it may not be the solution that you think. So I feel with the path, um, be open, be responsive to take the action as that opening in the darkness um, is, is illuminated to you. And with hunger, um, this is really interesting because it's it's guiding you to recognise all that you hunger for. Um, and it's it's recognising both your the dark and light side within you, basically. And I feel as though 2021 is going to really illuminate not only this path, but I feel as though you're going to have major illumination around what makes you happy, where your love is for self, for others, um, and I feel as though it's going to be illuminated in a really, really big way for you. And this hunger card is about 
um, guiding you and encouraging you to feed the light within you, feed that hunger for light, for love, for peace. Um, we all have dark and light within us. And, you know, sometimes the dark and light um, may battle with each other. It's almost like that heart and the ego. And I feel as though you're being guided to almost surrender to the light, follow the light, follow whatever is going to be illuminated to you for 2021. And this cloudedness might be that ego or that um, dark side within you. And I feel as though you're being guided to just release it, keep yourself grounded. The path will be illuminated to you as you feed the light within you. Real powerful message for you, Leo. For your, and you know what? Looking at your card that I was guided to use for the yearlies, it says, I will. And I feel as though if I look at the brightness of this yellow and look at the brightness of that hunger card and also that happy life, which we'll go into in a moment, I feel as though this divine light is going to strike you um, for 2021. And I feel as though you will, you will ground yourself. Um, you will be open to whatever path is opening up for you in whatever darkness or crossroads that you're at. And I feel as though you are going towards the right direction of feeding the light within. Your crowning wisdom message. This is so beautiful. Life's purpose. Seek your own deeper vision for life. And you know, Leos, if you are at some sort of crossroads waiting for that illumination, waiting to make the right decision, you may be at the crossroad may be around your life purpose. And I feel as though you're being guided to just know your life purpose is already in you. Your spiritual self, your spiritual being, your soul, your heart knows exactly what your life's purpose is. Our jobs as human beings experience as spiritual beings i should say um experiencing a human experience our job is to try and find um that dna that's written within us and the best way to do that is to try new things keep evolving keep stepping out of your comfort zone um going towards things that make you happy things that uh, you're passionate about. Um, and as you go through that process, it's as though you get clarity. It's like you move closer and closer to the DNA of your life's purpose. The mantra um, attached to this card, it says the following, as you ponder your purpose in life, keep asking these questions of yourself. What is it that I love to do? Why am I here? What is my life's purpose? The answers may not come on the first day or even the first week, but they will eventually come to you when you seek to respond sincerely from your heart. And I feel as though with that path card, it may be Whatever is going to illuminate you, uh, be illuminated to you at some sort of crossroads, whether, you know, it could be relationships, it could be, could be anything, life purpose, soul purpose, your journey here. Um, I feel as though if you keep yourself grounded, focus and feed the light within you, I feel as though you will respond, um, with the, it's almost like responding with the sincerity of what your heart desires and you know what only you can make that decision only you know what's truly in your heart 
And I feel as you dig deep with the premise of being sincere to your heart, your needs, your wants, that is where you will find clarity and move closer and closer to the DNA of your life's purpose. Your second crowning wisdom message card is happy life. Live a less guarded life. Leos, the mantra around this card, it says, I am letting go of the idea of perfection. I feel love for everything inside me and intend to spread it around like the scent of roses. It feels as though, um, Leos, if you are... Um, if you're one of these people that likes a plan, that likes to know where they're going, that is um, maybe a bit controlling of your actions, your emotions, um, you know, the best laid plans is kind of what I'm feeling. I feel as though divine spirit is coming in with the wisdom to let go, release um, and Listen to your heart more because I feel as though that is what is leading you. Um, that's what will lead you to the DNA of your life's purpose. Particularly, um, uh, Leos, if the crossroads that you're at at the moment is around your life purpose, um, a decision that you may have to make, um, maybe a change in career a change in relationships, um, a change in your outlook. If you operate with your heart, I feel as though the path that's going to open up for you is going to be true to your heart and lead you to the DNA of your life's purpose. And your final crowning wisdom message, way of faith. Let faith be your guide. Absolutely. It feels as though as you allow creativity, allow your heart to lead you to the DNA of your life's purpose, not putting any restrictions on yourself, not controlling too much, but just letting that guard down around your heart and allow your intuition right at the core of your values, um, which is held in your heart. I feel as though by walking in faith, letting faith be the guide for you, co-creating with your higher self, divine spirit universe, it's as though you, you will find your way. And I feel as though that hunger card, you know, focus on the light, focus on the love, focus on the peace. And, you know, by grace, which is freely given to all of us, um, you will find your way to your life's purpose. And it's going to be coming from that heart space, which is where your true happiness lies. The mantra around um, way of faith, it says... I have faith in my power to face the unknown. I have full assurance that I am not making a mistake, nor am I afraid of making one if I do. And that really aligns very much to that life purpose. Sometimes we need to adventure out of that box that we create for ourselves, that happy place, that safe place, um, that comfortable place. Try new things, try new creative stuff. Um, you know, we are all creative beings. And if we're not creating, whether it's, I don't know, writing, cooking, um, dancing, music, poetry, whatever it is, if we're not creating in some shape, form or another, um, we're not really maximizing the gift of life. And I feel as though um, by opening your heart, um, that is where your true happiness is going to be. And have faith that, you know what, if there's going to be ups and downs, 
um, you're going to handle it. That is the journey of life. And that is what's going to lead you to the DNA of your life's purpose. Real, real beautiful, beautiful um, message. Quite deep, um, Leo's. Quite deep indeed. Okay. Sorry, just bear with me, Leos. Hi, Leos, and thank you for uh, your patience. Just had a little bit of uh, interference. Okay, Leos, if this message um, is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video. And if you would like to know when I am uploading new videos, uh, please also feel free to subscribe. I'm truly, truly grateful. Um, the formation of the yearly readings will be slightly different, Leos. Uh, we'll have the top line, which will be for the first half of the year, and the bottom line will be for the second part of the year. And they may intertwine, and then we'll do um, an outcome spread, which will just cover the whole year. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Leo... Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Week commencing Friday the 1st of January through to Friday the 31st of December 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Leo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. Okay. As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. All right, Leo, let's see what's happening with your soulmate. Oh, straight away, the first card we have is the star. Well, somebody is seeing you as their wish fulfillment uh, for January. Mike, thank you. And we have the moon card. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. We have the five of wands. We have the four card. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how these soulmates of Leo... Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Thank you. We have the Page of Swords. And one more, please, for the first half of the year. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Leo? Thank you. Oh, okay. We have got... The three of coins and we have two bonus cards. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I almost put them back, but I felt to take them because it was only three cards. So you've got two bonus cards for your first half of the year. A victory with your twin flame or a deep soul connection. How beautiful is that? And that is coming in, Leo, in the first half of 2021. Oh, thank you. For the second half, we have, second half of 2021, we have uh, the Ace of Coins, the Emperor. Thank you. We have the Tower Moment. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me, how does the soulmates, thank you, we have the two of wands, my angels and spirit guides, oh, that, ooh, okay, we have the king of coins and the hierophant, wow, okay, um, before I forget the major arcanas um, popping out, you could have Aquarius, um, or can um, Aquarius or Pisces, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Gemini, Taurus. 
any of those signs could either be in your chart, Leo, or the person that you're dealing with. Okay, so Leo, for the um, first half of 2021, whoever you are connecting with, Leo, I feel as though they see you as their wish fulfillment, uh, somebody that they have lived past lives with. And do you know what? That may be being illuminated to them they may feel as if they are at some sort of crossroads with you but i feel um for january 2021 um they're gonna really know that you are that deep deep soulmate i would go as far um as to say they are your twin flame with that lover's card and there's absolute victory abundance prosperity um yeah, I mean, having that sun and the lover's card, you are connected with a very, very deep soulmate. I feel as though with the moon card, they may not know how you feel about them, uh, Leo. And I feel as though this is giving them some sort of internal conflict. But they do want to take a leap of faith and they are watching um, this connection with you quite closely, wanting to put the work in um, by uh, June 2021. Uh, for the second half, I feel it as though uh, they see the connection with you as balanced, grounded, abundant, solid. And I feel as though they're going to be taking strong action to try and understand um, how you are feeling. What's your thought process um, around this connection? Because obviously there's a lot of conflict between um, between you as in terms of they've got a lot of internal co conflict over how you're feeling around um, them. And I feel they're going to be having that around February, March. Um, but it's not going to be really until August that they're, I feel as though they're going to take this strong action to try and understand how you're feeling about them. Uh, there may have been or there could be some um, sort of tower moment happening around September um, that may give rise to what this internal conflict was about. Or they may feel as if they need to fight um, for this connection. Um, whatever tower moment is going to happen um, around September, some sort of drama, um, I feel as though... Uh, you are going to be at a crossroads, uh, Leo. You may want to take that leap of faith and have a new beginning with this person. But I feel as though um, you clearly see this person as your perfect match. They hold the key to your heart and you hold the key to their heart. But you may not know what direction or what action to take over some sort of drama that's going to happen in September. And if you notice with this tower card, there is only one person um, falling from that tower. And because it's on this side, which is the person that you're connecting to, I feel as though it's them that's going to be having that sort of drama, internal conflict um, and their energy is most definitely this emperor um, energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, I feel as though um, Leo's in around that October month, um, you may not know what action to take after this drama situation. Um, and I feel as though the person that you're connected to, as they watch very, very carefully, I feel as though they're going to be coming in slow and steady. And I feel they're coming towards you, seeing you as this marriage material, or you may be coming towards them, um, seeing them as marriage material, wanting to put the work in. But it feels as though you're watching this situation quite closely. But Leos, I'll be honest with you, I feel as though this is great victory um, because this is a very, very deep soulmate. Um, I mean, you've got the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Sun, the Star card. Um, to me, I would say that this uh, connection um, is, is moving heavily towards long-term commitment, marriage. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. I wanted to see if there was anything more. 
Yeah, you may be just walking in faith. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. My, thank you. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So whatever this person is being illuminated to, I feel as though uh, it was. It, it's fated and it's fated around love. This is unconditional love. I feel that this person has for you and you have for this person. There may be something um, that has happened or that's going to be happening in September that I feel that the person that you're connected to, it's really important that they stay grounded, be open to a new path. Um, and, and again, just keep going towards the light. Um, and as they do so, I feel as though this internal conflict will iron itself out identifying a new beginning, a new lease on this relationship, perhaps. Um, and it may be also yourself as well, Leo, because you're not quite sure what action to take. But whatever action you take, again, male or female, I feel as though you want to take action um, and you're going to come in really slow and steady, really carefully watching this connection. Let's continue. But the key thing here um, in the early part of 2021, I feel as though this illumination um, that if this person feels as if they are at a crossroads, I feel as though they're going to know that you are extremely special. You are their wish fulfillment and there is a lot of unconditional love and it is absolutely fated. My angels. Whoop look at that that just popped out as i was shuffling um i feel as though this person sees you um as this nine of pentacles somebody that is independent free-spirited wise spiritual um somebody that has created quite a a, a, a decent uh comfortable um environment for themselves and you remember i was saying they don't know how you feel about them they strongly may not know how you feel and it's strongly over you you coming in as that nine of pentacles i feel as though they do know that you have unconditional love for them and i feel that you know um leos that that i feel as though you know they have unconditional love for you and just to a hundred percent confirm it thank you to my um my guides um your energy is coming out here leo that strength card is reciprocated love reciprocated um yeah reciprocated emotion um it's as though you get this person this person gets you and look at that cup of that ace of cup it, this is equal love. Um, it may not be spoken, maybe so openly, but look, your energy is coming in. And this is how this person strongly feels towards you. You may strongly feel this towards this person, but they they don't quite know how you feel about them. But also with this moon card, it may also be letting us know that whatever is in the dark, um, is coming into light. So if this person was at, in some sort of darkness, I feel as though they're going to be illuminated and I feel that they are going to be moving towards the light. So the whole concept of the hunger is I feel divine spirit is reminding reminding us that this person needs to focus on the light with you and not the darkness or whatever darkness they feel that they have been in keeping themselves grounded so that they can have clarity of thought um to approach this new beginning that they want with you let's continue um and look whatever this tower moment is that happens um, around the September month, um, I feel as though it's kind of going to kick off around March, this internal conflict of not knowing how you feel about them. And to be quite honest with you, whether or not you're going to have this new beginning, take this leap of faith with them. And I feel as though 
by that September, it might create a bit of drama where they feel left out in the cold and they clearly do want to give to this connection. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Ooh, thank you. And yeah, look, they're heartbroken. Yeah, this, there, there's some sort of internal conflict. I feel as though <clears throat> around some sort of drama of not knowing how you feel about them, to be honest. And I feel as though it's breaking their heart because it feels as though they're out in the cold, they're at a distance from you and, and they just want to give. They just want to give to this connection with the hope of um, a new beginning um, around sort of that April month because I feel as though they understand um, and you may also understand um, that you are both each other's matching part but the action, um, the action that you need to take, that's the crossroad, um, Leos, that I feel that you're in. But remember this happy life and life's purpose. There are some things that sometimes you just have to take a risk, try and try and try again. And as you try and as things um, become challenging it just gives you more clarity over what you want and what you don't want and it brings you closer to the dna of what your life purpose is but by living in that happy life um letting down that guard around your heart to allow your heart to lead you i feel as though that is the crossroads that you're at so just remember the wisdom that's coming in um Leo is lead with your heart and don't forget your bonus cards this is extremely victorious around somebody that is your twin flame my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify <clears throat> the answer to the question how does the soulmates thank you I fit look look at this I feel as though this person wants to balance this connection out. You may want to balance this out. And with it right next to the judgment, I feel as though this is divine intervention coming in, wanting to reconcile um, after a broken heart, after whatever conflict has been going on internally that's going to almost um, um, implode around um, September and I feel as though Leo you're going to want to balance this out you're going to want um, reconciliation um, there may be some 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 truth that gets spoken um, with the justice judgment and the hierophant card you may actually um, be married to this person but there might be a slight difference look the hierophant is here and these cards are over here I wouldn't say there's that much of a difference. It's as though divine intervention is trying to pull you guys together, which is why I feel as though you're not quite sure what action to take. Hence, your energy, that king of coins is coming in slow and steady, watching very carefully um, if this person puts the work in. Thank you. Yeah, and you know what? I feel as though you're not going to tell them. You're not going to tell them. Um, you're not going to tell them that you want reconciliation. I feel as though you're watching very carefully. And look at that, that knight of coins coming in. Yeah, I feel because it's on your side. Your energy is coming in as that knight of coins. Knight of coins and king of coins. You might be watching this connection to see if they put the work in. And then I kind of feel by sort of December, you may make that decision that, yes, this person um, is somebody that I do see as marriage material. But I feel as though around that November month, um, certainly around May, where you're going to be watching and observing if this person is putting in the work um, to get over um, this conflict, this internal conflict that's going to result in some sort of drama. Um, 
I feel as though you're just watching. You're watching and observing. Thank you. And look, I feel as though you're going to be moving away from what doesn't serve this connection. Moving towards coming in slow and steady around uh, marriage, long-term commitment. It's as though you're walking in faith, the way of the faith. Let faith be your guide. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The lover's card and the um, seven of um, cups. You know what? There, I feel as though uh, Leo... For the first half of the year, there's going to be, do you know, there seems to be obviously some sort of heartache around um, internal conflict for the person that you're connecting with, which feels as though it's going to escalate to some sort of drama. But by the end of the year, I feel as if you're going to be moving away from that. And remember, I said that you're moving towards long term commitment, going by faith, marriage, it's because I feel as though you see this person as your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate. And I feel as though with that seven of cups, you are going to be making the choice to move away from what does not serve this connection, moving away from misunderstandings, miscommunication. Okay. Beautiful. And Leo, this definitely feels as though you are connecting with somebody. Either you've got a long term relationship with this person or you may be married to this person in separation in some shape, form or another. But you know what? There's a lot of love between the two of you. And I feel as though with that wheel of fortune, whatever is whatever is transpiring um between you both it feels as though you both may be in the dark um, about how to repair how to move on but you know what Leo just remember walk in faith um, let your guard down around your heart let your heart um, speak to you um, and I feel as though you will be illuminated as to the best course of action it's like both of you kind of they most definitely are in some sort of darkness, can't see, you know, um, the, 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 the wood amongst the trees or the trees amongst the woods, whatever the saying is. Um, and I feel as though you're also at some sort of crossroads, not sure of the action to take. Let's have a look at your outcomes. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me the outcome to thank you? So I'll oh, look at this. They're coming in with that Knight of Cups, um, really reflecting, really reflecting. And I feel as though that's what this internal conflict is. And um, whatever's happened to have created um, this seven or six of swords, um, whatever situation it is, uh, Leo, I feel as though they're going to be trying to release that. Um, for the early part of um, 2021 but it may take right up until um, the second half of 2021 for them to fully release but I feel that they're coming in with this cup of love cup of emotion because they 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 know they know that you are their wish fulfillment their happiness and look that um, king of swords I feel as though as they release what does not serve this connection, which evidently is some sort of internal conflict that created heartache, that left them feeling left out in the cold, wanting to give to this connection. They're coming in, um, I feel as though speaking their truth, quite honestly, quite bluntly, quite straight to the point. Thank you. And then look at that, and they will be victorious. I feel as they come towards you, um, uh, Leo's, I feel as though 2020, when they come through as an outcome to this up and down of emotion, heartache, a bit of drama, the crux of the story is they have a lot of love for you. You have a lot of love for them, but it feels as though both of you are at a crossroads um, in this connection. Um, and it almost feels as though stay grounded, Leo. Um, and allow 
your strength to come up from um, Mother Earth, from divine, from spirit. Don't be operating with cloudiness in your mind. Um, keep yourself grounded because I feel as though a path will be illuminated and I feel as though it's going to be illuminated for this person as well. They're going to be coming in, speaking their truth, protecting their heart because they have been heartbroken and I feel as though they're going to be extremely victorious, a lot of passion for you and look, with that nine of wands, they're going to be surrendering to this connection. So whatever is being illuminated to them, I feel as though they know that they need to surrender to this connection because of the depth, the depth of this connection. And it will be victorious. Um, they are going to be pretty battered and wounded. Whatever they've gone through, whatever darkness um, that they or crossroads that they were in, um, they may have been going through a phase, Leo, um, to be honest with you, of, of feeding the dark within them. It could be anything from fear, anxiety, um, loss, bereavement, um, uh, lack of self-love. These are all things that are, um, you know, deep within us. And that's why I feel as though the crowning message is they are, I feel as if they're going to be illuminated, that they need to be releasing that with this hangman right underneath that ha hunger card and focusing on the light with you. Let's get some more in depth. Okay, my, woo, okay, all righty. You look at that. They're coming in as that Knight of Cups because they want to build a future with you with that Ten of Cups. And look at that. We've got the Ace of Cups again. They are releasing whatever um, duality they had going on with them. I feel as though they're releasing that in a real big way. Look at that wolf howling. It's as though they are awakening to this connection, releasing um, that darkness, um, almost be, being illuminated through the woods of whatever crossroads they are at because they want to build this future they have this unconditional love for you and even though leo they're going to come in and speak their truth it's going to come in with a lot a lot of love with that king of cups this is most definitely their energy <gasps> look at that the four of wands victory over long-term commitment or marriage um, with the Four of Wands and the Hierophant so close together. Leos, if you are in separation or this is a long term commitment that was just got derailed for a hot minute, by the end of 2021, um, you're going to get closer to reunion because these cards so close together um tells me that it's going to be in reunion if the wands was up here i would have said that you've got a long journey to go through um in order to come together but the fact that these are so close around the end of the year tells me by the end of 2021 whatever the tower moment was whatever this internal conflict this person was going through whatever they were feeding on the dark side of themselves they're going to work it out they are going to work it out and release it um they're going through a process in of some shape form or another and i feel as though you are being guided um with the wisdom to know I suppose really to, to 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 allow your heart to guide you because that is where your true happiness is going to be. And I feel, look at that. I feel this is your energy, 100% Leo. Um, so even though you are going to be coming in slow and steady, not letting them know how, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, hence why that moon was there. I feel as though, um, uh, they're surrendering to you a hundred percent. They see you as somebody that's passionate, free spirited, independent, beautiful, handsome, and that is right next to the four of wands. This person is not even playing games with you, uh, Leo, uh, for sure. There's love, there's long term commitment, um, there's obviously something that's kicking off, um, which I feel is starting around 
January, February, March, um, and around September. I feel as though it it feels as though they're going to have some sort of drama, but I don't feel it's drama between the two of you. It feels as if it's an internal drama because remember, only one person was um, falling from that tower, and it's to do with the love that they have for you. It's as though they are being really awoken, being illuminated to a path that they need to take with you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? Thank you. Look, and look, as they um, come in, it's fated. They're going to come in with uh, messages of emotion. Slow and steady. This may be you because your energy was coming up as that uh, ki um, king of coins. You may be coming in slow and steady as they come in as a knight offering this cup of emotion. I feel as though you may want to build a future with this person as well, um, Leo. Thank you. And look at that. I feel as, look, it, this person is really, really looking at the detail of this connection. Um, so whatever this internal conflict that's going to trigger this tower moment at the um, the second half of the year, they're really looking at the detail. Really, and I feel as though they're trying everything to reflect and release what is not serving this connection. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Oh, look, and then their celebration. Um, whatever they are releasing well, we know from the sun card that it's going to be victorious. And I feel as though um, you're both going to be celebrating this. Um, it almost feels as though it's um, a bit of a aha moment for them. Um, and I feel as though they're going to be, they're going to want to be around you, be in your energy space. Um, it feels as though as if they want to get to know you all over again. Um, but, you know, just be aware um, they will be analysing um, a little bit of kind of mental torture. Um, and to be honest with you, that kind of makes sense because whatever this internal conflict that's going to create this tower moment, um, I feel as though as they move out of that, wanting to uh, release what doesn't serve this connection after really looking at the detail, wanting to celebrate, um, wanting to kind of get to know you again. That residual energy of kind of overanalyzing is still going to be there. So uh, be aware. Yeah, look at that. It's because they're scared. They're frightened. Yeah, they're frightened. So I say, do you know what, Leo? When you look at your your wisdom, um, you know, I feel as though you're being guard, guided to um, let your guard down around your heart. Think with your heart um, and seek that deeper DNA of your life's purpose. Because this person, um, I mean, with that twin flame coming through and the star card right at the beginning, the Four of Wands, the Hierophant, the Sun card. It feels as though this person is part of your life journey in a very, very, very big way. And they may, for 2021, they may just be waking up to the fact that you are part of their life journey. And look at that, the Five of Swords. I feel as though they are going to try and put behind them, uh, poor communication, um, whatever battles they've had to deal with, internal battles, whatever this drama is that they will be going through around September, um, I feel as though they're going to put that behind them, maybe even putting behind fear, that mental entrapment, that mental prison, and I feel as though they're going to fight for this connection passionately because they want this long-term commitment with you oh gosh that's a lot of cards that's flown out and look that emperor energy is coming in so this is a hundred percent them because the emperor uh, came out on the other side oh gosh okay and look we've got the hierophant again leo i'm not even i'm not joking with you this person wants long-term commitment um with you uh possibly marriage they want to rush in with that chariot. Yep, a cycle is closing, so a new cycle will begin. They are scared. 
they may be a little bit inconsistent and there's going to be back and forth communication um, with you. Um, in terms of major arcanas, okay, so we have got um, the Emperor, obviously, is, is Aries. Uh, we've got the Hierophant Taurus. We've got Chariot, which is the Cancer. Um, and ultimately, as they surrender to this connection, a cycle is going to close. Uh, a new cycle is going to open. They are going to be scared. They might be a little bit inconsistent, but there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication with you and the person that you are connecting with. Let's just pop these here. Okay, let's have a look at your final outcome. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. Look at that, the world card. This cycle, whatever whatever you and the person that you are thinking about, whatever crossroads, whatever darkness um, that kind of derailed this connection for a hot minute, 2021 is that cycle closing and a new cycle beginning with a lot of love building this future. Beautiful. Thank you. And look, they are releasing what does not serve this connection around love. And I feel as though they want to give to this connection to balance it out. Thank you. And look at this. Yep. Yeah. They may not tell you... Um, as they come in, uh, Leos, to speak their truth with this cup of love, you know what? They may not tell you that they're scared. They may not tell you that they're overanalyzing. But you know what? They are victorious in terms of they categorically know you are the one for them. Um, and they feel that passion. They are strong to take the action um, to this victory um, around long-term commitment or marriage. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me the final outcome to the question? How does the soulmates of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the year 2021? And look at that. The seven of wands, this person's going to fight for this connection. They're surrendering to divine around you and they're going to fight for this connection for sure. Absolutely. Because they feel victorious. They 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 know. They know that you you are the one for them. Let's clarify. My eight, thank you. And look, whatever cycle is closing out and a new cycle is beginning, I feel as though they're going to be coming in with messages of a serious nature as the year unfolds, as all of the intricacies and, um, um, you know, all the oh, intricacies of what they're going through internally, what how they may be worried, fearful of how you're feeling. Um, there, there's going to be communication. And I feel as though... Um, what's closing out might be disappointment around communication, um, Leos. I feel as though they may feel quite disappointed with themselves. And they may speak that to you in some shape, form or another. And look, there's that conflict. Um, they are, I feel as though the conflict is feeling disappointed that they did not give to this connection when they perhaps should have. And I feel as though that's what's triggering this tower moment drama within themselves. And it's just, it's just confirming that for us. And look, that high priestess, I feel as though they're going to be quite heavily um, guided by divine. Um, maybe they're going to take down that shield around their heart they know that you are their happiness and i feel as though if they were feeding um the dark side within themselves or the shadow side and and as they connect more to the light following the light releasing what doesn't serve them with that hangman i feel as though intuitively they are going to know that they need to balance out this connection. And it almost feels as if they need to forgive the disappointment that they feel within themselves for even 
for, for not giving equally to this connection, for not coming in with love, for not being there for you, it feels. But they are going to be operating from a place of their intuition, that happy place, um, their heart. Gosh, that was a lot of cards. Look at that. And with that death card, major transformation. And that is what they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you that they've gone through a major transformation. Do you know what? They may not even tell you. If they get dreams, signs, synchronicities in some shape, form or other, they may not even tell you. And look, it's because they are going within, seeking guidance from divine, wanting to make wise choices. Hence why they're going to come in speaking their truth with this cup of love, but they're not going to tell you that they've gone through a transformation, that actually they've been guided, perhaps through dreams, signs, synchronicities. And look at that. They are taking strong action, coming in as that king of wands. Bam. This person, um, they are going to be guided so strongly to take that action. You've got that ace of um ace of wands twice this person has no doubt in their mind that you are their ultimate soulmate their happiness is with you their victory is with you and i feel as though um they're coming in as that king of wands wanting to um take take that lead take that passion take that strong action um towards long-term commitment um or marriage and look at that fighting for the fighting for this connection, wanting to balance this out around you. And look at that. I've just noticed the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. Again, look how closely you are together. It feels as though Divine Spirit Universe is pulling you both together, working with this person um, that you are connected with to keep them grounded. They may be operating in a place of cloudiness. Um, if they are feeling in this crossroads, um, all in perhaps their dark side, uh, Leo, um, but they're going to be illuminated. Look at the the circulars. It's as though they're going through a process and bam, look at the illumination. And it, I almost feel that energy of them looking up to the moon, just releasing, releasing what does not serve this connection. There's your hangman. Thank you. And look at that. Look at that. The nine of what? Oh, gosh. Look at. Oh, my gosh. OK. All right. They want me to take it. We've got the nine of wands. They're going to fight for this connection um, around you, um, uh, Leo, uh, male or female. It doesn't matter. Uh, they see you as their queen of coins, somebody that is wise, spiritual, grounded, balanced, abundant. And as they um, surrender to this connection, they're going to put in the work, put down the burden of what did not serve this connection, coming in with a cup of love because you are their happiness. And they know with this um, seven of coins, um, Leo, that the work has been put in. This may already be a long term commitment already because this is all around the four of wands and the hierophant, which is either a marriage or long term commitment. It's as though they know you are their happiness. They know that the seeds of this um, connection has been planted. It's fully grown and they want to pick those pentacles um, fill up their basket by fighting for this connection and I feel as though they are going to be extremely victorious um, this relationship has all the ingredients um, uh, Leo's of getting itself back on track um, in 2021 for those of you that are in a long-term relationship that has been derailed in some shape form or another this, do you know what? I'm not even going to mince my word. This is for people that are in um, a relationship already with this person. This is not for this is not for people that are single. Sorry, Leos. Oh, um, those ones that are either married or in long term commitments. Evidently, you're the group that I'm reading for. Um, sorry for the rest of you. Oh, 
maybe maybe the the, the weekenders and uh, might give you some i might pick up the energy of a different crowd okay your advice intuition leo trust your intuition it has been guiding you to the answers that you seek and you know what it almost feels as though it almost feels as though all of them um, I, I feel i feel more um drawn to your wisdom cards your life purpose your happy life and way of faith your intuition is talking to you i feel leo in a real 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 big way and i feel as though you're being guided to just continue listening in it listening to it um, and it comes from that place of your heart and um, that is the place that is going to never lie to you and we've got fruition rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition and i feel as though um leo what you may not um be telling them because remember uh we had that seven of swords around your side as well um watching with that page of swords um seeing if they're going to put in put in the work i feel as though it doesn't say that you're wishing or manifesting i feel as though you are just watching observing and i feel that however you want this connection to pan out i feel divine spirit is saying to you your dreams and visions will come into fruition thank you and your final card advancement a strong energy is propelling you forward follow the stirrings of your heart what did i say it's all in your heart chakra um leos your heart is not going to let you um it's not going to let you down not on this occasion um this is a very 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 deep uh soul connection there is no doubt in my mind about that um for sure and whatever has tripped this up for a hot minute um i feel as though leo's 2021 is going to be um a time i feel for self reflection of the person that you're connecting with um a little bit of patience from your side um letting down your guard um around your heart um and taking a leap of faith with that life purpose um the only way you're going to connect to your life purpose is taking that risk um if it falls flat on its face it's okay because it just gives you clarity around what not to do the next time round and as you keep going through that journey learning evolving being open walking with faith it will be the path will be illuminated to you and um i feel that you're just being guided to know that this is a victorious connection in a real real big way and i feel as though 2021 um as you both go through that process um it has the potential to be extremely bright and beautiful okay leo's I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, once again, if this message resonates for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video so that it can get pushed out to other Leos. It is a really beautiful message. And obviously, Leos, the group that I'm talking and um, reading for for this for 2021, um, these are uh, you are a group of people that are obviously connecting to a very, very deep soulmate. Um if this if you would like to know when i'm uploading uh new messages please feel free to subscribe um i welcome your subscription to um spirit and truth tarot but also i thank you as well because it really does help support the channel any more information that you need please check out the description box particularly if you would like to follow me on instagram all of the links are down below and <clears throat> until next um next week next month next year um i look forward to um being on this journey with you as you are with me um and i just wish you all a happy happy abundant beautiful beautiful new year and i'm just sending you loads and loads of love peace and light take care leo bye bye